All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office getting ready to do a video on Kamala Harris and her flip floppiness, her somersaultingness, her her cartwheel, if you will. <laughs> so, anyway, before we do that, though, uh, deal alert uh, primary arms have uh, Anderson upper receivers, stripped upper receivers for $29.99, $30, and you can buy the uh, parts kit for $20. Uh, I'm sure there's a video somewhere that I've done over at Tumble or Rumble tumble not rumble i don't know uh over there showing how to put together but it's really simple very easy but you can get a complete upper and i think if you order more than a hundred dollars or something like this free shipping big deal over there uh my campsite there is a little tab on there that you can find it down below also i need your help with something okay this is me asking for you guys personally i don't ask a lot my next door neighbor's dog went ape shit uh, of 4th of July, tried to jump a privacy fence, but on the other side of the privacy fence was a chain link fence, was open bare, and the dog's leg got caught in the little end of the chain link fence wire things and just ripped it to shreds. He went nuts. He couldn't get off of it. Eventually, he was able to get off of it, but not until he tore himself to death. My next door neighbor was a flight attendant. Uh, she was letting the dog be babysit because she was out of town and just wanted the dog to be somewhere. For some reason, that person let the dog out. I don't know the story. But I do know Newman, all right, pictured here, uh, is a beautiful dog. He was a rescue, gorgeous husky mix. He, he comes over to my house all the time. We have a fence between, a gate between us. And he just comes in, wants to say hi to everybody, comes and gets some water, walks around. Uh, and he leaves, but he's just a, such a precious guy. Uh, the vet bills are up to about $8,000 and there's a GoFundMe. I'm going to put the link down below if you don't mind. Hey man, if you watch the video, you get something out of it, a dollar. I, it's just whatever we can do to help. I think we've raised almost $3,000 to help her out. Um, but it's just the thing. She's a flight attendant. You know, they don't make a tremendous amount of money, but, uh, this, this sucks for her. It sucks for Newman. And, uh, he's in a little cast and can't go outside. Can't do anything to have fun. All right. Just check out the uh, GoFundMe below. All right, let's talk about this, ladies and gentlemen. Republican attacks Vice President Kamala Harris' radical record have already been so successful that Harris is racing a flip-flop on everything she used to say or believes. Now, this comes to us by the Washington Examiner, Con Carroll. <laughs> She's a flip-flop queen. Uh, man, there's so many different little things that she's flip-flopped on. And first of all, yes, yeah, she's going to go ahead and try to take her firearms, just like the guys that got behind me right here. And we'll go over the thing. All right, that's further on. According to the New York Times, just this week, the Harris campaign, but not Harris herself, said she no longer supports a ban on fracking, no longer supports abolishing immigration, customs enforcement, ICE, no longer supports mandatory gun buybacks, and no longer supports banning private health care. And you know every bit of that is BS because you tiger cannot change its stripes. That thing is going to do everything she can to go wherever she can. She cannot be allowed to win this damn race, okay? <clears throat> Another thing, donate five bucks to, if you might not like him, but you sure shit not going to like this thing. Uh, and I just can't understand how anybody in their right mind would literally to vote for her okay back to the article when asked to comment on the flurry of flip-flops harris campaign spokesperson brian fallon said her years spent in law enforcement and her record in the biden harris administration defied trump's attempts to define her through lies oh that's another thing i'm absolutely sick and tired of uh the lies that the media is preaching uh, the lies that she's preaching, the lies that everybody's doing, and it's just, it, I'm just sitting there going, uh, you know, he's going to ban abortion. He ain't going to ban abortion. He's already said he's not going to do it. He's got to get elected. He represents the people who don't want bans on abortions. Uh, but, you know, there are there are reasonable lot time frames. Uh, it's just, it, I, I, uh, okay. The problem is that every Republicans are saying that Harris's record is true. She is on tape multiple times calling for a fracking ban. Okay, my friends up there in uh, Pennsylvania, that pipeline thing that we had, and he, he immediately killed that. Uh, same with mandatory gun bikes and banning private health care. She's even endorsed Senator Bernie Sanders. I am once again asking for your financial help. <laughs> Sounds like me. Uh, Medicare for all bill going as far as to thank him for his leadership on the matter. This lady is a turd. An abolishment on ICE. Ah, abolish ICE. Harris has a strong established track record of backing legislation that defunds immigration law enforcement in favor of the very nonprofit groups that encourage and facilitate illegal immigration. You think it's bad 
when Biden was in office or, he, or when he had his right mind, they opened the border up. That's what she believes in. You think it was bad then? You wait to that dumbass. If she is in office, say goodbye to our country. The communists are going to win. <laughs> in 2018, she encouraged her fellow senators to reject the Trump administration request for additional funding on the new Border Patrol agents and ICE detention beds. And in 2019, she introduced legislation that would have taken $220 million off from ICE and given it to nonprofit groups and aid illegal immigrants. Illegal trespassers. They're not illegal immigrants. They're just, they're here illegally. Uh, yeah. So these are just the facts on Harris's records. As an inconvenient as they are, there are many, many more of them. Yes, there are many, many more of them. For example, Harris is on record for supporting free health care for illegal immigrants. Does she still support that? Remember when the guys were on the horses? And she said, this takes us back to slavery times when the, the, <laughs> Oh, God almighty. You think it's bad then? Wait till she, if this happens, Harris is on record for supporting decriminalization of illegal border crossings. And she'll support that. But nobody's asking her the questions. Even the, the, the media is sitting there telling her, oh, no, that's not, oh, no, uh -uh, no, no. But what happens is you get somebody who absolutely has no freaking clues, never had to work. She wears knee pads constantly. This is what happens. These are dangerously radical liberal positions. Uh, yeah, is Harris going to run away from all of them? No, she can't. This is why the primary process is so important. This is why during the first primary in 2020 for the 2020 election, she had zero delegates vote for her. And she was out. A true DEI hire because the jackasses in office right now went ahead and said, I'm going to pick a woman and a woman of color. Oh, by the way, the white guys who are voting for her, the black, white women who are voting for her, I said it yesterday. It's almost like if I said that I was going to vote for Donald Trump because he's white, a male, that's the most racist thing in the entire world is what I've been told. Uh, she would have to have made it a case to the Democratic primary voters. She would have taken a position on health care for illegals and banning the cash bail, banning cash bail. This is what's the problem with the day. And then you got all these Altimas running around with the temp tags that have been changed forever, who are a uh, non-registered cars. They have no health insurance, or no health insurance, but no insurance. And they run around the damn roads like they own the goddamn place. Excuse my French. Anyway, I talked to a friend of mine. I said, why don't you guys do anything about this? You got a car that was stopped in front of me, beat all to hell, plastic on the windshield where a windshield should be, and a temp tag. And I'm wondering, I need to find this dealership who are selling these cheap ass cars because my son's getting ready to start driving. Perfect. $500 car, beat all up. Well, there you go. And he just told me, he goes, though nobody wants to pull them over because simply no one wants to go through the BS that comes from just pulling somebody over. Okay. Or they're scared to be on YouTube. It's, it's ridiculous. All right, let's get on back to this thing. Uh, Harris has bypassed all that. She still has never won a single Democratic primary. This may <laughs> make it easier to flip-flop on every belief she has had in 2020. Uh, after all, this woman who lied for years about President Joe Biden's mental health. Yes, this is another thing. This dumbass lady got in there, and she has said nothing. He's sharp as a tack. He's doing push-ups. He's doing this. Everybody knew that was a freaking lie. Yeah, in here... <laughs> This is it. In her own words, Harris said, yeah, I am a radical. I do believe that we need to get radical. Con, this is a great article, man. I got to put it, hand it to you. I'm going to put a link to the article down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the flip-flopping chief. This, this, is, this lady is off her freaking rocker. Absolutely. And with that, please don't forget, if you can, if you can spare a dollar, you don't ever help my next-door neighbor with her dog. Um, it's just, I, I, it's a heartbreaker that all this happened to this guy. He's the sweetest thing in the entire free world. It's KB32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and hammer it down. So support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not freedom. KB32, and I am out of here. And the great words of the infamous real Cobra burnout. <laughs> I love that dude. Boom. Y'all be good.